Shall we do beer box? Should we do the beer box or the advent calendar box? That was supposed to be, the camera was supposed to be right above door 15. I found door 15 in advance. It's the 15th of December today. This is door 15. We can see that. It also looks like someone's doing this. <laughs> what is this? What is this thing? It's either a penis or someone swearing. I'm not 100% sure what is going on in that picture. I'm pretty sure, looking at it, it's a penis. I'm pretty sure it's a penis now. <laughs> anyway, we'll get this out of the way so it doesn't look so penis. Work from your basement. The basement is full. The basement is full with um, with all the all That's the bodies. The basement's full of bodies. That's a penis. Oh man, we did the same thing. I hit the button at the same time as you, Alan and Cairo. We hit the button. Uh, it's monkey trapped again. I can't get it out. I could do this. I could do this. Uh -huh. Everybody, everybody went for it. Middle finger back. It's not me. It's up. Look, it's on the it's on the advent calendar. There is a middle finger here on the advent calendar. So what do we have today? Is that going to focus okay? The camera's probably a bit too close, so we'll do it up on this camera. We have Vocation Brewery with their Pure Pilsner. Oh, it's a Pilsner. So it should be a nice, easy drinking, an easy drinking beer. So it's 4.5% um, alcohol. Vocation is a fierce independent brewery, hell-bent on producing punchy and distinctive beers. We pursue perfection with dogged determination and never compromise our vision. This relentless persistence makes our beer bold, brave and exhilarating. And the pure Pilsner, it says, This is our classic Pilsner lager, crafted to the highest standards. We use authentic Pilsner malt, European hops and that magic ingredient, thyme. T-I-M-E, not thyme as in the garden herb. Uh, the result is crisp, clean, and sophisticated. Just a textbook pilsner should be. Never pasteurize, maybe naturally hazy, store cool, and drink fresh. Okay, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. I used to drink. Pilsner used to be like my go-to beer. When I started drinking beer, when I started drinking it, it used to be like the beer I'd go to. There was a nice pilsner. Like, is it Paulina? Paulina Pilsner? Is that right? Down at the... Um, the uh, the Kent pub I used to drink at. Um, and it was really, really nice. So that's kind of one of the first things when I started drinking beer. One of the first beers I really, really got into. That doesn't really want to look at that can, does it? There we go. It's moving. It's doing a slow panning shot of the can for, like, feels. It's kind of doing like a movie pan just to make it look really, really cool. Right. Okay, it smells very sweet. It smells really sweet. It doesn't smell like a pilsner. It doesn't smell. It smells sweet. I don't know why it smells so sweet. I'm trying to find a spot it will balance on there. But taste-wise, it's got a really light taste. The taste and the colour, it's like a really clear light beer. It's got a really light taste to it as well. Like a really subtle taste. Whoa, Jelly Ogre, thank you for gifting a sub to John. Thank you for gifting a sub to John. That's amazing. We'll go over. We'll go over what happens now in a second, but we'll carry on with beer review for a second. Um, so yeah, it's got a really nice light taste. So this is the sort of beer I imagine if you're going to have like a long night of drinking and you don't want to kind of feel too too gassy as well because it's quite it's quite flat, too gassy or be too overpowered with flavour. I think this is a good beer to like go for a full night of drinking, and it's not very strong at 4.5%. So I think that's not bad. I'm not going to give it an epic four and a half. I'm going to give this probably just a four. Probably just a thought. It's not bad for a long drinking beer, I think. So cheers, everybody, and happy Christmas as well.